Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Wismet15 back with turn 11 of this Iberian Hot Seat campaign. I hope you guys have checked out the other perspectives and let's get right into this turn because we are at war with Spain. and Or Castile actually. And Castile wants me to be their vessel and that's never gonna happen. <laughs> Just done with that. Ooh. I, I, ooh, I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. The French have arrived. Welcome to the court of Granada. I agree. Yes, he's talking about my diplomat, I assume. Militarily, Portugal's in first. That's interesting. And wars, everything else. We're second in most. Even in financial, that's crazy. Okay. So, hold on. Let's move our diplomat over here. Oh, here we go. Let's go with that offer. There we go, to the moors. And we'll send our diplomat back via ship over to Portugal, where we can talk to them for a while. Uh, so let's assault this right away. Oh no. Apparently I didn't build siege equipment. Oh dear. Oh, and he's built a fort there. And he's got an army there. Um, hmm. We do have this army, so let's move it here. Uh, but he'll attack it and destroy this army in the next turn. And we can't assault it unless we have spies. We do have spies. Hold on. Yes. Let's move this guy right here. And we can do quick saves, I remember. So control S. Okay. Okay. Control L. This is. Okay, that was not what I loaded. I thought it would uh, load the one that I saved. But we'll try that again. Oh, wait, no. Okay, yeah, it loads where we were. That's interesting. Didn't know we could log in again. Alright, let's try again. Perfect, he got in with a 32% chance he'll let us through. This by can't reach by a second. Uh, we do want to train up these spies, maybe... Did he get any better? No, he didn't. And I can't... Oh, I can reach. Awesome, I got two spies. 45% chance I'm liking those odds. And let's get this spy over here. And, uh... Let's just spy here. Awesome. Get them better... Better, uh... Abilities. If you're any background noise, I do apologize. Uh, I might have to pause and ask him to, like, you know... Politely not be loud. <laughs> this guy's actually getting pretty good. He's only 23. Okay, but these two, 45% of chance of opening the gates, they're both pretty decent at spying now. So let's go with this attack and assault. And fight it? Come on, almost 50% chance you got a little us through. If not, I fight. <laughs> what happens if they don't let us in? <laughs> I don't know what happens. I don't know. Start deployment. Uh, let's just see how it goes. We'll find out, I suppose. If not, I guess we have to run away. Hey, he opened it! What a good job. Who's a good spy? Alright, they are not ready, so let's just rush in. With everything but our archers. Awesome. That'll show Spain for trying to outsmart my men. <laughs> and if he comes to attack me, I have two armies that can attack him. So that's wonderful. Um, are my graphics down? I don't know. Well, let me check. Uh, yeah, let's go highest. And go back to that return to game. We need high detail, guys. High detail. Uh, he's got peasant archers, but that means nothing. And some peasants over here. We'll take him down in no time. Uh, well, I don't know what he has an archer to get off the walls before his entire army's dead. Move those cav over there. I think our general can take down the peasants no problem. We want to try and lose as minimal troops as we can. Well, he looks fancy. Late period general bodyguard too. Hey, hold on. Just wait, male knights. You want the general one first. 
And he will crush these peasants. So this is a, a nice... Oh wait, we should just take out these peasant archers over here. With that. Probably get some shots. He'll probably get some shots off of this tower, but that's okay. And these peasants don't stand a chance. And let's get all these guys walking over this way, just just in case somehow something goes awry. And this is going to be probably the easiest victory ever. Not much of a garrison to hold us back. Hopefully, you don't have to lose any troops. That'd be amazing. Because right now we haven't lost a single one, and that that is telling you something. And it's going well. The only thing that can hurt us is the general over here, probably. But even then, he should be dead soon. Oh, look at him, he's surrounded. The poor Spanish general. Try, he's trying so hard to take on these guys. And these peasant archers are, some, for some reason, just not grabbing. There they go. Okay, let's just watch the Spanish general die. Or captain, actually. How many times can he take a sword to the face without being killed? Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is certain victory now. We can't speed up, but who cares? They're dead anyway. That was probably the easiest battle I've ever fought in my life. Not a single casualty, and tons of experience gained. For no cost. <laughs> this is great. And that's their entire army. Wow! <laughs> Where's the rest of it? Why, why am I not in victory? There we go. <laughs> Zero lost and 136 kill. This is great. I'm just gonna screenshot this. This is amazing. It's not that amazing, actually. But it was still pretty... It makes me happy. There we go. We don't need to lose any troops taking these places. <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Stan... San Denter. Stan... San Denter. Something like that. We are going to sack. Because we like money. And... Whew, 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 whew. That'll show them. For trying to mess with us. Now we got one of their castles. I'm not sure if I want to change this into... Um... Oh, he's got another army coming. Under his faction leader. So, this is gonna be... something. It's gonna be a big fight gonna go down out here, uh, outside of Sandanter or Pamploma. He abandoned this fort. <laughs> um... So let's see, we have a lot of money, so let's spend it. And... I think we should... Prudence would dictate sending everything we can over to fight the Spanish. So we're gonna send that army that way. And we'll send this guy right here. So we can build another watchtower around here somewhere. Like, if you ever watched Main's perspective, he has like dots of sight. He doesn't build watchtowers much. And we could use that in our, to our advantage while attacking him. So, over around here, what do we want to build? Um... I don't want to upgrade this. I don't want to put in much money over there quite yet. I want to just just wait for a bit. So if they come, they'd have to besiege us, and then we'd have this army to come support us. We have a spy here to protect against his spies. And if he doesn't attack us, we can go attack Pamploma. So that's a good, 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 good things going on. Good things. Uh, this place needs happiness, so we'll get them that. You guys need money, so we'll get you that. That's a, a lot of money already spent. Lots of money already spent. So, let's keep building military. And then over here, maybe something? Or maybe not? We could get them something over here. Something useful? A leather tanner, maybe? Well, I can't get anything decent anyway. Hmm. Can we get any mercenaries just to help with the possibility? A galley, great. How about you? You can get some spearmen, but that's not going to help us much. 
Gotta think. Think what must what must I build? That is the ever present question. Maybe I should save some money somewhere. Am I getting anything here? I'm getting stuff here. Let's not get these mail knights, get some archers instead. And then we can go here and get some surgeon spearmen in the case that we hold it. So let's go with optimal case, we'll build something there. And we'll be getting trades and alliance with the Moors. Hopefully he actually gives him gives me his map information instead of being a jerk about it and just deciding, nah, I don't wanna give it. Let's get our priests moving down. They're pretty they're mostly Catholic around here. And let's get our spy moving. We want to get our spies over toward where Spain is. But we took one of their territories, and that's great. Haha. -ha. And that'll give us more money next turn. Almost 3,000. Almost. Keyword. And we'll have these other armies moving down. We can have this one go around here and attack Pamploma. And the spy has a 40% chance of letting us in. We could probably get other ones in to help us get more. So who needs artillery when you got spies? Who needs siege equipment when you got spies? Alright, let's just check around here. Um, so the Moors are at war with everyone but us. <laughs> That's to be expected. And let's just look at the overall ranking. We are second. Uh, Portugal's going up. Spain's so slowly going down, but probably a little faster now that we took one of his regions. And the Moors are doing fine. So good job, Moors. Militarily, we have declined quite a bit after that defeat down at uh, Barcelona, but we will slowly go back up as we recruit more troops. We gotta do that over time. We're almost, we're less than Spain, and that's scary. We gotta kill off Spain as soon as we can. Production-wise, we are just below Spain, but I don't really hear about production. Territorially, we have gone up even more. Just a stepping ladder. Uh, financially, we have gone up to second because Spain's going down and Portugal's going back up now. But hopefully we will continue going up and up. Population, we are almost tied with the Moors. That's interesting. <laughs> We're like literally like on the line below them. Alright, that's, that's lovely. Family tree. He died in battle. He was a good guy. Good guy. And... This guy, he's not even... He's the same age as his father, apparently. <laughs> That's a little strange. And he will be heading down with his army to take Pamploma. Or something. But we have our... I think the way this is going is that Spain's going to have to besiege us somewhere. And we can use that to our advantage to uh, take him down. And Spain doesn't know that we have this most likely. If he does, that would be problematic. So maybe... oh, we can't build a fort. Hmm. Maybe we should cut off some spending somewhere and get a fort. Like, do we... do we need a grain exchange? <laughs> Probably we do. Um... he doesn't have artillery anywhere, does he? He doesn't, so we could... use the money we have here... and just build a fort, because that way, in case he can reach us, we're safe for a while, then we can occupy it with this, and so on and so forth. So that's fine, we have a fort now, we have some extra money as well, so let's just peek around if we want to build anything. Peek around. We'll get him a leather, oh, well, I don't have anything to make that's worth a damn. <laughs> that's worth a damn. Um. Leather tanner, maybe, up here, but they're not going to be recruiting anything. So maybe a port would be in order. It's a little bit... It's a little bit more money. Or we can just save some, or actually get good units. That is the idea. Actually get good units. And we can get some town militia here. Awesome. So therefore, we are getting more military, and I like that. Instead of getting that building there for now, we'll save it until the situation there is more stable. It's probably a better choice. So that's pretty much all I can do for this turn, but let's just send a few messages. Castile! How dare... wow, or drare. How dare you suggest I be your vassal? Or... there we go. Vassal? 
That for some reason that looks wrong to me. Vassal. No, no, it's definitely a. Uh, it says it right there. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. The. Let's see. What else do we want to say to them? Your demands are not backed. You have lost one castle soon to be two. And we'll send him that message. The Moors. Grand victory in the north. We have taken Sandander, Sandander, or Danter, with zero, yes, zero casualties. Oh, zero casualties. I feel like that's wrong too. I hope the same happens in the south. Send. And finally, to Portugal, you have chosen the wrong side. Send. Alright, that's all I have for this turn, guys. We have taken Sendenter. Oh, wait. Can we edit the message that we sent to the Moors? It's. San. Dan. San. Tander. Santander. Oh, it's not letting me do that. Can I not just put. Why can't I put a T there? Um. There we go. Santander. Or just not let me put. Alright, you know what? Space. Oh, that's interesting. Jeez, this is. Who knew this could be so hard? Just let me put an R. Not there. There we go. And then we'll go. Yes, zero. Casualties. I hope the same happens in the south. All right, that's perfect. All right, now we fixed everything. Sand Santanter, Santanter. Why is that so hard for me to say? I don't understand this. All right, guys. After this grand victory, I will see you all in the next turn. I hope you guys check out the other perspectives, and I'll see you all next time after this thing takes its toll. Going to the next turn. Just go to the moors. There we go. All right, guys. See you next turn.